Well, hello. It is Wednesday, January 10th, which means it is double sale Wednesday, but without Jen, because Jen is still on vacation. And uh, I do have Gina, Southern Siren Vintage, uh, joining me today. So uh, it was great hanging out this morning. We have wrapped up the morning sale. It is about almost 10.30 my time. I've got the table all organized so we can talk about what's sold and what's still available. I do have my items for the afternoon sale already picked out. Uh, so I'll be moving those over to the table as soon as I get it cleaned off, organized, um, the sold stuff upstairs, oops, the unsold stuff back in the Harry Potter closet. So that's what I'll be working on now. I have a couple of packages to get ready for postage. So I will be doing that as soon as we go over what's sold and what's still available. And I think, I think then I'll be kind of on top of things today. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what other stuff I can get done to, uh, to make it a little easier for me. Um, oh, I did this morning set up a couple more sales. Um, so for setting up sales, you have to go into StreamYard. You have to fill in your information, put in a thumbnail for the sale. Um, and then there's a few things in the back office that we have to do. So it takes a couple of minutes to set them up. Um, do I always have a couple of minutes? Sometimes no, I don't. But this morning, yes, I sat down, I got uh, all ready for the sale and I had a couple of minutes left over. So I set up about three sales. I think I set up Thursday and the two for Friday. So I have that part done. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the sale from this. So let me flip this over. And um, so on this side of the table, these are the items that are still available. On this side of the table, these are the items that sold. Uh, so let's go ahead, we'll mix it up today. We'll, we'll talk quickly about the five items out of the 15 items that I brought that sold. Uh, this beautiful pink floral, uh, pink rose plate. The Dr. Doolittle's post office book. That one was from 1924. Uh, favorite flowers in color. This is a beautiful book full of um, glossy pictures. Each of these pages is beautiful glossy pictures. Uh, this is from 1949. And um, oh, then I had the uh, playing cards, Darth Tater, Spud Wars. And it's got Idaho <laughs> and welcome to the starch side. Really fun playing cards. And the I Love Lucy tin. Yeah, great pictures. Really fun little case. Um, all right, so those were the five items I sold. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about these items that are still available and if you see anything you would like to purchase uh, feel free to leave a comment on the video um, or if you prefer you can send me an email uh, but these are available for claiming and purchasing right now as you're watching the video uh, this is a pair of saucers I don't have the teacups for them, so they're just like little plates, little dessert plates, little breakfast plates. Um, I thought that they were very festive in winter time, <laughs> being full of beautiful butterflies and strawberries. Uh, the pear is $4. I have a wood duck, beautiful carved out of wood the person who carved its initials gv right here um, and the duck is four dollars <coughs> uh, 
I have a beautiful pair of ladies right here. Uh, they are tall. They're about nine inches tall. So really good sized figurines. Beautiful colors. I thought they would be great. Springtime, Easter. Thought they would be wonderful to work into a display. They have all of their fingers, their flowers, all that good stuff. Uh, she does not have a mark on her, but this one does have a home co mark. Uh, they are $5 each for the lovely pastel ladies. I uh, have this beautiful hand painted mug, not a teacup. I know, what a surprise. I do not have a teacup. I do have a mug. This was someone's favorite though, because there is some wear on the gold around here, but they did a great job washing this. No chips, no cracks on it, beautiful. Uh, no marking on the bottom either. That one is $5 for the mug. The Blue Willow Hot Pads. There's a pair of them. They are tin with a, I guess that's cardboard. Uh, they're made in Japan. And the pair of them are $6. Uh, the box, this is probably made out of bamboo. It is sewn together. There might be some glue in here also, but it is really neat, sewn together. Here is the vase and the wood box, probably bamboo, is $5. The pair of sugar and creamers, these are hand-painted Nippon. So they are a true antique, over 100 years old. Beautiful sunset, ocean, uh, boats, little bit of shore on this little personal sized sugar and creamer and they are eight dollars uh, the bathing beauties candle let me get there let me get my camera down here a little closer this is a six inch pillar candle fantastic 1920s bathing beauties that one is sixteen dollars and then the pair of garden gnomes. Yep, they are a hobbyist piece, hand painted, no marking on them. But I mean, they are so cute for an indoor garden, a little patio garden. And they are $16 for the pair. All right, I am gonna flip the camera around. Okay, so as I mentioned, next steps, clearing the table and postage. So I will see you again um, as soon as I get a couple of packages with the postage uh, by, by the front door for a carrier pickup. And then I'll keep checking um, also for additional payments and, and all that good stuff to add to the stack. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you in just a sec. All right, well, it is a little after four o'clock, which means we have wrapped up the afternoon sale. So thank you again, Gina, so much for hanging out with me today. Um, it was wonderful spending time with everyone in the chat and with Gina. Uh, one thing I realized during the sale when my doorbell didn't ring I'm pretty sure, because I, I looked for the confirmation email, I forgot to request USPS pickup delivery. Eeks! I totally forgot. So, right after the sale, the very first thing I did, I requested pickup for tomorrow. So, I am so sorry. <sighs> Packages will be going out tomorrow. Oh my goodness. What a mistake. All right, but I fixed it. <laughs> um, all right, so for the afternoon sale, uh, we brought 15 items. I'm going to, oops, there we go. Ooh, that took a little bit. 
I'm going to flip the camera around. Uh, so 15 items to the sale. I sold nine items and six are still available. So let's go ahead and talk about the six items that are available, starting with a mug. It's not a teacup. I know it's shocking, isn't it? <laughs> I actually have a mug. It is made in Japan. It is a beautiful mug. Um, nicely hand painted. You can see it's got that pretty uh, purplish blue luster on it. And that is $6 for the mug. Uh, this beautiful vase, it is blue uh, down at the bottom. And then it does go up to clear. Great accents with green. And that vase is $16. The Mary Gregory beautiful green drinking glass. There is a tiny uranium glow to it, mostly right around the bottom here. Um, but this is beautifully hand painted and this is in great condition. Uh, this is $18. A Whiting and Davis gold mesh handbag. It is black on the inside. Let me open that up. Black on the inside. Fantastic metal handle. There is a tag on the inside also that says Whiting and Davis. And that is $30. Uh, the ceramic rolling pin, it has a cork on one end, so you could put um, cold water, ice water on it, and that's supposed to help keep the dough cold and keep it from sticking to the rolling pin. And then you does have a little thing there, you could hang it on that end. Uh, this is $12 for the rolling pin. And then I had one of these. This is a second one. I had a second one of these. Beautiful purple glass violin, cello, bass. And that is $12. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the items that sold. Um, I have this beautiful, very old silhouette. The background on this piece is really spectacular. Um, and I love the subject matter. A woman with a birdhouse and some birds. Um, it is, you know, professionally made, really old hook on this thing. Um, Jane Austen memory game. This is so cute. This is great for the Jane Austen lover. Uh, you get all of these cute little cards from Pride and Prejudice, Persuasion, Sense and Sensibility, um, uh, Northanger Abbey. Oh gosh, I can't even remember. Let's see. Um, Emma. And there's one more book. These are all of the cute little couple cards that are in there. So you can play a memory game. All the couple cards are uh, color coordinated. Oh, let's see. Emma. Nope, there's one. Persuasion. I got that. Oh, it's going to drive me crazy if I can't. Remember the other book? Nope, that is all. Okay, Northanger Abbey, Sense and Sensibility. Oh my gosh. Persuasion, Emma, Pride and Prejudice. There we go. Nope, Persuasion, Pride and Prejudice. I swear there's one more. Mansfield Park. That was it. Mansfield Park. I knew there was another one. Great um, 
great graphics on here. Really fun how each one has its own little look to it. Oh, that's such a fun set. Yes, I am a big um, Jane Austen lover. So that was a fun find. Um, a fused glass plate with pansies on it. That was wonderful. Um, this lovely plate with pink flowers. Fantastic edge on this plate bowl. It's not quite a bowl, not quite a plate. It is gorgeous. Uh, this is Moonstone by Anchor Hawking. Oh, yes. And I was going to show the uh, Ring of Fire. Hold on. Let me get in position with this one. Okay. So I wanted to get into position to find the best position to show off the Ring of Fire on this piece. Um, so as I've mentioned, when you have these milk glass or opalescent pieces and you hold them up to the light, you get that beautiful sunset um, uh, colors in there. So you can see there's some orange, some yellow, might even see a little bit of pink, but that is the ring of fire that you can see off of these beautiful pieces. All right, and we're back to the table. Uh, let's see, a uh, Longa Burger basket. This is the Sweetheart basket. The um, Cracked Egg Planter in pink. The um, beautiful Polish purple glass vase. And then this lovely piece from Japan. It is a lacquer bowl with this gorgeous honeycomb pattern. It comes with two paddles, probably for rice, um, but this is a huge, like a 10 inch, 10 by five inch bowl. It is massive, it's gorgeous. Um, all right, and then those are all the items that sold during the sale. I have one additional item I'm gonna show you that sold. All right, this is the additional item that sold. Um, another fused glass plate. This one with beautiful tulips on it. That's going to be so nice for springtime. Um, I loved the colors on this one. They did such a great job. Um, all right, so that is everything that sold today. All right, I flipped the camera around. Uh, so for the rest of the evening, I am going to be clearing off the table and setting up for tomorrow morning's sale, um, figuring out what fun things I'm going to bring to that sale. And um, that will be my only sale tomorrow. Um, so it'll be Thursday. So just the one sale. And um, yeah. That is going to do it for the rest of my evening. I will be spending um, some time as soon as I have kind of an early dinner because I didn't have much of a lunch. So I'm going to have an early dinner and then I will spend the rest of the evening upstairs doing some um, packing and invoicing. Uh, once I get yeah the table cleaned, I get my sales entered. Um, I already got the cats some food, so they are good for a bit. And that is going to wrap up the vlog. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.